Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alicia Zhu. I am the leader, manager, and director. Uh, we just arrived from. We just arrived from Delaware Regional Special Olympics, and I could say, every two years when we go, we grow more and more. We give everyone an opportunity on the island to go with us. We have invited the high schools, the special schools, the middle schools. This year we invited the elementary schools and Somerset Primary decided to get on the bandwagon. It was an awesome opportunity. Um, the coaches, everyone was very impressed. These guys, I don't know what they did in school, but when they got out there on that track, it was nothing stopping them. I can say that the Delaware Regional Special Olympics has made some changes. Two years ago when we went, they had the children this size. This year they had the younger group. So each, to, each time we go, there are some changes. For the first time, we had, we had tennis. Now Bridget plays tennis as extra activities. Bridget ran out there, she won her, um, the skills competition, and she also won in the doubles match. They were, they were very, very impressed with Bridget because of her form, her stature, everything. I could say when we ran to the field, before we participate, Mr. Watts had the kids warming up. We got everybody's attention. They warmed up, they ran out there, they did what they had to do. Some of them broke their own qualifying and preliminary records in the finals. In the finals, I can say, um, from the parents who were there, and if you weren't there, you would have been excited, you would have been overjoyed. It's something, and I get emotional because it means a lot to me. This means a lot. We have been going to Delaware since 2004, and we got treated like celebrity. And every time we go, someone comes to us and says, you come in next year. We'll see if we could sponsor you. We'll see if we could get some sponsors. This is how much they are imp impressed with our students. And we would like to say, um, two years' time, if we don't go next year, I'm going to still invite other groups to go with us, but we are invited as a school. They have schools, they have residential, and the ages are from 8 to 88. Mr. Watts, I'm going to put it over to Mr. Watts. Thank you. Uh, uh, my name is... Uh, <laughs> My name is Mr. Watson, and I'm the adaptive PE teacher at uh, Cedar Bridge High School, and uh, man, we, we had a blast. These children did a great job. They outperformed themselves. I think once they get under the spotlight, they just do it, and they know who they're representing. They're representing great people here in Bermuda and their parents, and when it comes time to show, they show. I mean, there are times when uh, we had one that was out there, and when they started the race, I didn't know if she had started the race or not because she was the tiniest one in the heat. And that was Zizi. I changed her name. Her name was Azuria, but it was Zizi. I didn't know if Azuria, I didn't know if she was in the heat, even running. But she did a fantastic job. And it didn't matter how tall they were, she ran like a stallion. She came around the corner, finished every race. And then we had one young man who did not even finish a race at his preliminaries at his high school. And he got there and he did every race. Uh, I think one of our young ladies, uh, Soleil, taught him how to walk. He was getting ready to walk, so she kind of helped him out, and he just went on. So thank you so much, as always, for allowing your young people to be with us. It was a fantastic trip, an even better performance. And uh, I tell you what, with 44 medals, ladies and gentlemen, that ain't bad. Thank you. On behalf of the minister, Wayne Scott, I'm very, very, very pleased to be here. And on behalf of the people of Bermuda, 
I'd like to say and extend a congratulations to all participants and their coaches because quite honestly, without their coaches, they wouldn't be able to participate. They need the support of Bermuda and I believe that they have it. I am very, very proud as are all Bermudians. 44 medals, most of them I believe there are 26 were for gold. For 27 for gold. Can you believe that, Bermuda? Congratulations. Hi, Ms. Richards. I just want to say how proud I am of everyone, but I want to begin by giving thanks to Ms. Sewell and Coach Watts. You do a phenomenal job with your leadership with respect to this awesome event. I want the students to know how proud I am of them. They're awesome when they compete in Bermuda, but when they go overseas and they continue to dominate and do so well, we recognize just how even more awesome they are. We are proud of them, and I want you all to know, you're big time. Yeah.